OMG, we are coming on a month two. Where the heck does the time go? <laughs> you know what, I am so excited for this week. I don't even know what to call these workouts, but I will say one thing. OMG, sexy body workouts. We are gonna bring up the intensity, just a little bit. We're gonna work on some new movements. Maybe you've seen these workouts before, maybe you haven't, I don't know. But I'm just gonna leave you with this. You're gonna be sweating buckets by the end of this, baby. So let's get rolling. Okay, queens, here we go. This warm up is going to fire you up. We're gonna go straight into 20 jump kicks, okay? This is really gonna get your heart rate going. After you do 20 jump kicks, I want you to punch, 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 punch for 20. Punch like you've never punched before. All right, give it your all. Really keep your core nice and tight. I want you to do this two more times for a total of three. We are really going to get the heart rate fired up because let me tell you, this workout is going to make you sweat, girl. Woohoo! All right, this is where the magic happens. Let's get down. We are gonna do a push-up. I want you to go to the side. Give me another push-up. One more time. Go to the side. Give me a push-up. Then mountain climbers, 10 times. Ladies, this is amazing for your core. Strength, agility, stability. OMG, you are gonna feel this. Then we're gonna go to the other side. Down, push-up. To the side, down, push-up. 10 mountain climbers, all right? So you're gonna do three push-ups in the mountain climbers and you're gonna do this five times over. Are you fired up yet? Are you fired up yet? OMG, just you wait. This is one of my favorite supersets. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on the spot as you can see eight times, all right? One jump. But then we're gonna go down into a lunge and then kick out. Jump into a lunge, kick out. Jump into a lunge, kick out. Do that four times. And then you're gonna jump on the spot, dance with it, move with it. This is incredible for your core, but what this is gonna do, you're gonna really fire up your glutes, fire up those hamstrings. You are just going to really shape, tone, sculpt these legs with this movement. See what I'm doing, I'm dancing with it. But what I want you ladies to do is five times on each leg, so that's 10 total. Keep your breath under control, really feel it, stay nice and strong, and keep with me ladies, you got this. All right, ladies, grab your bands. If you're daring, grab two, but I warn you, this is gonna burn. We are doing a full leg burnout where we're gonna work the whole leg here. So you're gonna start with three to the side, and you saw that I went three to the back, okay? Back to the side, and then to the front. So the front actually works your quads. The side is working that sexy side booty that we all love, and then the back, you're working your glutes, and you're obviously working your hamstrings. Then go back to the side again, and then back to the front. OMG, this is a crazy burnout. One more time. We're gonna do the other side. So to the side. I think I did to the front this time because, well, that's just me. <laughs> that doesn't matter. And then go back to the side, and then we're gonna go to the back for three. Really, we're just working the whole leg here. Keep your core nice and tight. Make sure your back stays nice and straight. And then we're gonna repeat this 10 times, okay? You got this, girls. Oh, I love this burn. You are gonna feel it. Okay, so since we have some advanced bomb.com queens in this group, if you wanna challenge yourself even more, here's the movement for you. Do this without touching the floor, okay? Side to side, really focus on that movement. This is great for stability. This is great for strength. This is great for posture and balance, mind to muscle. If you can do this slow and controlled, girl, you will love it. Go for it. One of my favorite, favorite movements for growing that booty are pelvic thrusts, but we're gonna add a little bit of a kick to it. Make sure that your toes are pointed a little bit outward. We are going to do pelvic thrusts. Really squeeze that butt, OMG. But look what I'm doing here. I'm going into a hip abductors. So going to hip abductors, we are gonna do five, down, up, down, up, squeeze, down, up, squeeze, and then hip abductors, out, 
out. We are growing that side booty. We are tightening and sculpting. We are gonna get that smiley face with this. If you want more of a challenge, you can add an extra resistance band, but let me tell you, you go 10 of these, you're gonna feel it, girl, because just remember, you got an yourself another three rounds to go after this. OMG, let's make that booty smile. Well, hello there. Where have you been all my life? All right, sister, you really want to work that booty. You really want to work those legs. This single leg bridge actually makes the list of the best butt exercises for athletes. Good enough for athletes, good enough for you and me, Jelly Bean. So find yourself a bench or a chair at home, whatever. Get your band on, get yourself elevated. And what you're going to do, you're going to raise up, squeeze that booty. This is an amazing exercise. In order to hold the pelvis level throughout the exercise, you really need to contract both the abdominal and the lower back muscles, okay? So this is really gonna help actually stabilize your spine as well. So not only are you working that beautiful butt, you're working your core, you're stabilizing your back muscles. This is overall one of my favorite, favorite workouts. Do this correctly, do this with all you got, and girl, let me tell you, your booty's gonna change. So do you hate me yet? Do you hate me yet? Nah, you love me. You're a queen. This is week five, girl. You got this. You can either do this exercise with one band or two. If you do two, place one above your knee and then one just on your ankles. Get down on your knees because we're going to do leg lifts, all right? Leg raises, kind of like pulses, but this has a little bit of a twist. We're gonna do five straight back and then five to the side. We're really gonna activate that gluteus maximus, but then we're also gonna hit the minimus. And they're like just on that side, that beautiful like, little scoop. Oh, I love this. So this is gonna be a really powerful burn. This is really gonna help with that. Like if you have cellulite, girl, this is an amazing, amazing exercise, but just saying. So we're gonna do basically 10 total. So five to the back and then five to the side for a total of 10 on each leg. And then you're going to put your leg down and then repeat on the other side. Girl, you will feel this burn after this. Oh man, just like that booty, Sarah. Oh yeah. Who's ready for some core? I know you've been working your core the whole time, but this is really gonna isolate that core, ladies. Who loves planks? I know you love planks, but did I do something else here? I know I did. Did I hold it? I held it for 30 seconds, yeah, but what did I do after that 30 seconds? Wait for it, oh, snap, mountain climbers. Go right to those mountain climbers, ladies. This is, oh man, just wait until you do this. Ah, oh. so you're gonna hold a plank for 30 seconds, okay? Once that 30 seconds is up, you're gonna go back into mountain climbers, okay? But you're gonna repeat this five times, all right? 30 seconds to 10 mountain climbers. 30 seconds to 10 mountain climbers five times, all right? Push yourself, hold yourself accountable. You got this, girls. Woo! Now shall not kill my vibe. 